Welcome to the Access Space 2000 Module 4, Validation Groups. My name is Paul Jones. I'm a technical trainer here for Linear Corporation. A validation group is a setting assigned to a cardholder set. Consider a validation group as an access level. A validation group will dictate which doors a person can get into, what times and what days they can get into those doors. Within every validation group, we have two things a door schedule, which doors we can get into, and a time zone, what time and days we can get in those doors. In this module, we'll try to explain the relationship between door schedules, time zones, and how they interact with validation groups. In this example, we have created a cardholder set called Residence. As you can see, the door validation group is all access. If somebody is an all-access validation group, they have access to every point on that property 24-7. Since this is not preferred, we need to create a new validation group. If I select the hammer and screwdriver up at the top, which is our toolbar to help us navigate through screens and go to Global Network Settings, I'm directed to validation groups. As you can see, we have door validation group 1, we have a time zone right below it, and a door schedule. When we're creating door validation groups, it really doesn't matter which order you do them in. I prefer to do the door schedule first. Which door am I even working with? I will select door schedules, and I can have up to 31 different door schedules. As you can see, this is door schedule one, and I have four doors on this property. I have a front gate, a lobby door, a clubhouse, and a pool. We want these people to have access to the front gate 24-7, so that's the first door schedule we're going to create. I put a check mark in front gate, and I apply it, and this is door schedule number one. Next, I need to create a time zone. I can have up to 31 different time zones. I see on the left, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, holidays. That's which doors I'm going to give them, or which days I'm going to give them access to. And valid time periods is what time is going to let them through these doors. If I deselect any of those days, and they do not have access on those days. I want these people to have access 24-7 to the front gate. So I'm going to leave all the days in there, and if I don't put any time period whatsoever in there, that's 24 hours. So I will use time zone 1. It's already set. I have all the days checked off, and we have 24-7 access. Next, I need to take my time zone and my door schedule and roll it into a validation group. I like to name the validation groups as to what door I'm actually giving access to. It'll make it simpler when I'm assigning these to cardholder sets. I'm going to call this validation group front gate. Next, I need to roll in the time zone and the door schedule to that validation group. So I'll select time zone 1 and door schedule 1. After I apply these changes, I need to assign them to the cardholder set. So I will click on the two yellow people, which is my cardholder set. I'll select my residence cardholder set. And by using the drop down, I'll take all access out and give them access to the front gate. Now that we've taken these people out of all access, and give them access to the front gate. That's all they have access to. They don't have access to the clubhouse or the pool or the lobby door. I have to create other validation groups to give them access to those points. Thus, I need to create more validation groups. So I'll select the hammer and the screwdriver, go back to validation groups, and create my second door schedule. I'll select door schedules. As you can see, I've already used door schedule 1, so I don't want to use that again. I'll use the drop down and then put door schedule 2. In door schedule 2, I want to work with the lobby door. So I will select the lobby door and I will apply it. 
Next, I need to create a time zone, what time or what days I want to let them through the lobby door. I've already used time zone one, so I want to use time zone two. We want these people to be able to, to access the lobby door Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. until 5 p.m. So in time zone two, I'll deselect Saturday, Sunday holidays, and I'll put my cursor over the blue bar just to the right in valid time periods of time zone two. I'll right click to add the time period and it wants the range for the time period I want to lift these people through the door. Access Space 2000 uses a 24 hour clock so 9 to 5 is 0, 0900 to 1700 and I select OK. And now I see a blue bar that represents the time period I've just created. It's possible to have four different time periods within the same time zone. However, I never want to overlap time periods. It can cause a system malfunction. Now that I've created my door schedule and my time zone, I need to roll that into a validation group. I select door validation groups. I've already used door validation group one, so I need to select door validation group two. I'm going to label it lobby door. I select time zone two and door schedule two and I apply. Next, I need to take this validation group and assign it to my cardholder set. So once again, I select the two yellow people, select my cardholder set, and give them lobby door validation group. I also have a clubhouse. We want them to be able to access the clubhouse Monday through Friday, 7 a.m. until 10 p.m. So I will create another validation group using the exact same process and I will assign that to the cardholder set. Finally, we have a pool. In this particular installation, we want the pool gate to be unlocked seven days a week from 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. To accomplish this, we're going to create a time zone and assign it to that specific relay. So to select the time zone, we'll use the hammer and the screwdriver, and we'll go back to global network settings, and I'll select time zones 1 through 15. I've already used three time zones, so I'll select time zone 4. And I'll input 0800 until 2200 and apply it. Now that I've created my time zone, I need to apply this to the specific relay. The relay is in the panel itself, or the node. So the hammer and screwdriver to the network screen, and I will see in this installation we have one AE2000 plus in network A address number one. I select that node, and I will go to node setup. And within node setup, I will see a relays tab. I will select the relays tab, and it automatically goes to relay A, but we want the pool, which is relay D. So I'm going to select Relay D, highlight it, and down below I see Assign Auto Open Time Zones. I can have four different time zones per relay, so I'll just use my up and down arrows and I will select Time Zone 4. That's the time zone. Once I've assigned this time zone to the pool, I apply and upload the changes to the node. Once the upload is complete, the middle icon with the red arrow pointing up should be grayed out, and I should have a zero in between the SD and RD on the left that stands for Send Data, Receive Data. If I put a check mark in the Disconnect After Programming box, after programming is complete, Access Space 2000 will automatically disconnect from the panel. It's also important to know that that node or telephone entry or access control panel acquires its time from the computer that programs it. To set the time and date, I just simply go online with the panel and select the clock at the top. It will set the time and date in the panel.
In conclusion, our cardholder set is now properly set with door validation groups and ready for the addition of cardholders. This completes Module 4 Validation Groups. My name is Paul Jones. Have a great day.